Yeah, it's Cindy. This place is a bomb site. Pockets, get off the couch. I don't want to come home to this mess every night. Are you listening to me? Cindy? No pockets, I don't have time. No pockets, stay! Back inside. Bad dog. Brilliant morning, Geoffrey. Sid? Lovely day for it. Must have been a bit of a wild one last night, hmm? Pardon? Ooh, I heard all the racket. Woo! Oh, yeah? Sorry about that. She must be some nugget. I feel like you're holding out on me, Jeffrey. Bold statement. But I think you've made the right choice, Mrs. Wade. This is definitely this season's colours. Look, I'm sure this isn't the fabric I ordered. It's exactly the same as the sample. It just looks a little different with the way that it's hanging with the light on it and all. <laughs> Very different. Look, I'm sure this isn't what we... Look, I tell you what. Why don't you take a couple of minutes, let it wash over you. I've got to make a personal call. Do you think I could use your telephone? Look, could we sort this out? I've got an appointment. Just a couple of minutes. I just need to check my messages. All right, but can you make it snappy? I've got an appointment at 11. Hey there, little man. Where's your phone? I'm a girl. Oh, sorry. Who are you calling? My home. What for? I got this flash new answer phone. I can check my messages at home just by punching in my secret code. And I can do all this really cool stuff by remote. Arrays, rewind, re-recording my outgoing messages. Pockets, get off the couch. Bad dog. Hi, this is Jeffrey. Neither Cindy nor I are at home right now, but... Hi, Jeffrey. It's Liv from the shop. Harry wants to see you right away. Can you stop by after your next house call? Room tone, number six. What's that do? What's that? Huh. Let me see. I don't know. I've never tried that before. Let's give it a go. Come on. No, 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 don't do that. Ah. Ah. Oh, must be the sounds inside my house. That's weird. How does it... Shh. I'm definitely not happy with that fabric. Ah, good morning. Hi. Sorry, mate. Look, here's some samples for your perusal. Do you mind if I just use your phone? Can I use this phone? You're late. It's okay, Harry's still in with the client. There's someone inside my house, bonking on my couch. 
What, are you going to ask them to clean up after themselves? No, you don't understand. I can dial in and hear the sounds inside my house through my machine. Why the hell do you want to do that? His voices. I can hear voices. Could it be this woman that you live with? Impossible. She's not there during the day. <laughs> Seems like a sales guy will set you up with a real bargain. Hey, I'll order the fabric and get right onto it. Great. Thank you. Pleasure. Yeah. Jeffrey. Does anyone affiliated with this company have a brain? Your sales quotas have dropped drastically, Jeffrey. You're slipping. You've lost it. It's a disaster for the third quarter earnings. Well, what's the matter with you? I'm happy to report that nobody out there has any sense of style whatsoever. You're trying too hard to sell the expensive ones. But this season's range of taffeta acetate drapes are exquisite. They're curtains, for Christ's sakes. People aren't going to be rubbing naked up against them. Do I have to get out there and flog them myself? If you don't turn it around by week's end, it's all over for you, pal. You're finished. Because let me tell you something. I've just about had a guts full of the kind of carry-on that you've been bringing in here lately. And if I don't get some... <laughs> My name's Jeffrey Birkin. I live at 50 Calliser Road. There's someone in my house right now. I think I'd like to report some sort of sadistic orgy going on there. Are they acquaintances of yours, sir? Well, I don't think so. Is this a regular occurrence? Listen, I heard them through my answer phone. Mm, nifty feature. Someone's being hurt. I heard screams. Have you left your TV, Cecil? <laughs> I only get TV one. It's, it's, it's deep throat on that channel right now. Binge. I knew I'd find you here. You got your mobile with you, mate? I need to show you something. Yeah. What's up? Somebody broke into my house. I can hear sounds through my answer phone. Listen. Sounds like a wild sex party. Jeffrey! It's Cindy, isn't it? Wake up, Jeffrey. The Cindy situation will ruin your life. I know, I know. Look, I tried to kick her out. She just laughed at me. Oh, this is too much. It's gone on too far. She's a bitch. A selfish bitch. She's bloody insatiable. Hey! Always flirting with other men. Delivery boys, the neighbours. I hate her. This is out of control. Why don't you just go home right now and get all that stuff, you know, like the, the eyelashes, the makeup, all those slutty clothes. Get it. Throw it out. You come with me. I'd like to, Jeffrey. I really would. But you don't need me. You want to deal with this yourself, huh?
pockets? I found this in my vegetable garden, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah? Your dog dug a hole and buried it. Then began barking like crazy. Probably sick and tired of the phone ringing off the hook all day. Where is she? Sorry? You've been in my house with Cindy, haven't you, Sid? Where is she? In the bathroom? Putting on her clothes? What are you talking about? Don't lie to me, Sid. I know what's going on here. I can hear you making love with her. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I've never even met this Cindy. Oh, come on. She's been watching you for weeks. What'd she do? Get you over for a drink, revered you on the couch? She's a very persistent woman. I know what she's like. Cindy always gets what she wants. This is insane. You're insane. You're not going anywhere, Sid. Cindy. Jeffrey can be so paranoid. I don't understand what gets into him. 